Good morning, everyone. Today is uh, Friday, June the 16th. We have quad witching today, uh, triple witching. Some folks really hate that we say quad witching, so we'll say triple witching. And that means all of the options expire today. We could have a fair bit of volatility. So uh, spikes on either side is what we are looking for. We continue to see a lot of traders leaving their short positions, just entirely getting squeezed out of them. And so here we are up at the top of these very big formations. Let's take a look at the monthly to see where we are in terms of the very big picture. Notice uh, last month, right about there. So we are much, much higher. This is the next congestion zone. That's 45, 41. It seems fairly likely that that's where we'll head, to be very honest. Um, right now, the uh, JP Morgan uh, strangle is well outside the money. That was, uh, I believe, 44, 20, 44, 30, and they are upside down in that, but I'm sure they are hedging in all kinds of ways. This is the next ledge that we'll look at, 45.32 and a quarter. Besides the nice big round number at 4,500, which I anticipate that traders are going to try and squeeze um, any shorts in that fashion. Upward formations, it means the pullbacks are buy zones. This is the line in the sand, 4465-ish. The low in the overnight was 4459. If we lose that level, sellers are going to try and come in and push us down back into that JP Morgan edge, which does sit at uh, 4430 and the likes. All right, let's take a look at the cues. Hello. We can see this contract also expanding quite widely. I did see a note from uh, one of the folks that I read that said that we just simply are not buying any uh, insurance no put buying right everybody's sort of thrown in the towel look at the motion here from a weekly perspective well over the top of this 15,320 um, heavy congestion probably where they all connect at about 15,230 15,240 but the next line in the sand really is going to be here at the edge of this wick, that low is 15,491. We'll leave it at the 500 area. Gives it a little bit of room and they love the round numbers. The traders do. And so that's what we're looking for over the next maybe couple of weeks as we go into the end of the month. We are moving up very, very sharply. See the daily pressure events, that means pullbacks are buy zones. Absolutely, unequivocally, pullbacks are buy zones. So what do you do? You go into your tighter formations, 15 minute, and you say, where was the last time people sold in the upward path and can I buy there? And right here, it looks like about 15,421. It's the low of this edge. They came in and got up ahead of it. And now we've got a fairly heavy congestion zone sitting right in the midst right here. So it could be that we come all the way back down into this ledge. All right. My suspicion is that we really end up looking for um, formations that bring us down into the lower edges of the heavy congestion and then they turn right around and move right back up as soon as it pulls in to find support because that is what is happening across the board 
pullbacks are finding support and the traders are buying them in full swath, right? So that's what we're staring down. I'm not really, oh, I know this is a square. All right, so here we are. Let's take a look at the monthly here in SPY, see where it's going. We can see that it is in the middle of all of these candlesticks. So either we fade to come back into the baseline, which is sitting really right there, or we breach and we move into one of these areas right up here at the 449. Um, I don't know if anybody listens to or subscribes to Jarvis Alerts. Love that. Love them. They're very, very good. And their information is really organized in a meaningful way. They've been calling for 50 since the beginning of the month. Actually, even before that. So that is what we're looking at from SPY. Look at the overnight. It's been mixed, but really starting to lift again. We've got uh, Michigan sentiment today, and that looks fairly interesting in general uh, in terms of being able to move the market, but this is upside pressure, folks. And here's the thing. It's being pressured by people who are positioned short that have to get out of the market in general, right? The intraday motion of upside pressure, we will chase it to these upper spaces, but at the end of the day, this upward chase is not adding fuel to the fire. It's actually removing fuel from the fire, if that makes sense, all right? Now, today we don't have a midday report inside of the Benzinga Pro platform. We do normally have them every day during the week, except Wednesday and Friday, simply because we do this in the Broadscape, all right? But we will be managing our trades and uh, looking for some very nice wins into this kind of motion today, all right? So as we look at the queues, where are we? 371, top edge, 381 after that. Listen, do you see the slope of motion? Take a look, daily, sharp upward pressure. Notice, up, pull back, shallow. Move to a new high, pull back, retests the low, and then moves again. Any kind of pullback is getting bought. The ribbon here tells us a lot of where price action is going to be. That's between 360.50 and 364. All right, let's take one last look at the IWM. These guys, we know what's going on with them, right? They have been sitting in this sideways pressure event for a very long time. Now they're coming up out of it. Listen, there are a lot of people trapped long because they're thinking to themselves, hey, I bought up here and I'm going to sell further north, but instead the market has collapsed on them. So everybody that went long at these wicks are going to try and get out and everyone that is short is going to have to buy to cover as it moves higher. This is what we are seeing in general, this upward pressure event that is going to find a good group of sellers Here's what's happening with this one, not nearly as strong as the cues. Up, pulls back into the ribbon, up, pulls back into the ribbon, and we have not had higher highs. So I want you to be careful if you're thinking about the IWM being long, do it at the dip. Do not do it at the break to the north. There is a lot of supply here. Supply has to move out of the way for this price action to move higher, right? Okay, that's it for me, folks. Take care, and I'll see you all on Monday inside of the Benzinga Pro platform.